Hi, welcome back. It's Mr. Baumgarten with the next of our Flask tutorials on uh, creating web servers with Python. Uh, so our first video, we had just a simple web page up and running where we were returning these strings based on uh, the index page or the page two routing. Uh, let's get HTML files up and running rather than these nice big long messy HTML strings we can actually just write up HTML files and send them along so I'm not planning to actually teach you how to write HTML uh, if you need that there's plenty of tutorials around online on how uh, how to write HTML files um, so if you need that I suggest you find something on the internet I recommend the Mozilla documents um, as a pretty good resource So I'm just going to throw together something really simple here. All right. There's a simple little HTML document I've called index.html. How can I send that? Okay, and you might have thought, okay, well, Python, I can load a file, I load it all up into a string and just return it. And you could do that. Flask has a couple of tools built in that makes it a little easier for us. So I'm going to, from Flask, let's import in the send file function. And so here, all I need to do is say return send file index.html and it is done. Let's get this up and running. And so now if I go to my local host, there it is. There's my index.html file. Uh, and if I go to page two, that is still just the original page. Oops. <laughs> there we go, there's page two. And then you just got a quick hint as to what was what's gonna come next. Instead of this string here, let's create a file with a form in it that sends us some uh, information that we can re read. So I'm just going to copy and paste this into a second HTML file, which I'm gonna call page two. All right, so, uh, and let's call this number adder. So we're just gonna create a simple little form that, uh, so it, that sends its information to page three, and we're gonna use method post, which is what you normally use for a form. Uh, and so inside here, I'm just going to, let's create, um, type and number input type equals text and we'll go call this number one alright let's copy and paste type another number I'll call that number two and then we will just Let's just throw in our submit button. Name equals submit. Yeah, whatever. Uh, value equals add. So now page two, let's make sure. Yeah, I've got to send the file here. So return send file page two.html. I do hope you can use more meaningful file names than me later on. Okay, so I've got a number adder and I'm gonna type in a couple of numbers. So 12 and I don't know, one, two, three, four, and I click add. And what's gonna happen, we get a not found when we go to page three because we haven't created anything for page three yet. So let's quickly do that and show you how we can get these values from the form and do something with them in Python. So we are gonna create a route from page three and create my function that goes with it. All right, uh, now to get this, because we used method equals post, I have to put in here that I want to use method brackets post. All right, because it, otherwise it'll default to get and it'll say method not allowed. Um, maybe I should just quickly show you what that looks like. So if I just say return uh, 
Uh, I don't know. Yeah, thanks. Alright. Um, an unexpected keyword method. What did I mess up here? <laughs> uh, it's methods. Because hmm. we're actually providing a list of methods. And now I've killed my flask, so let's just start it up again. All right, refresh. Okay, so here's the thanks. If I didn't have this methods thing though, if I took that out, save and refresh, this would now give me a method not allowed. All right, so that is, if you get that error, that means you need to be adding this methods post in here. Put that back in, save it, refresh, and I'll get my thanks. Well, that's all well and good, but where was the values of the form gone? Uh, and it just so happens uh, we need one more import statement from flask import request. And I can now come down to page three and right, number one is equal to request dot form. Okay, and then whatever, so this is basically basically just a Python dictionary, more or less. Uh, the name that I want to put here is the name of the variable that you used in your HTML. So number one and number two. So here, if I say number one and request.form number two, and then I can just print out the numbers. Oops received were all right number one and number two all right so now if i come back to here and refresh so it's resent that form information we can see here the numbers received were 12 and 1234 except be aware that this is a these are strings Oops, not integers. Uh, and so if I wanted to turn these into integers, now you should of course do um, do some checks. So let's let's do a check. If num one dot is numeric and num two dot is numeric then we can proceed uh, and let's just I don't know n1 is equal to the integer of num1 n2 is equal to two, the integer of num2 and then let's just print n1 plus n2 all right if that doesn't happen then we can just print I don't know they weren't integers All right, refresh. And there it is there, 1246. All right, because that's happening. There we go. Right, how can I send that back to the browser? Well, obviously I could just do a return. So instead of saying return thanks, all right, I could just say, okay, that's here. If they weren't integers, we can return that as our error. Return they weren't integers. And then this one, let's just return the answer. And I turn it back into a string m1, m2. Refresh 1246. Okay, so now let's try the full process page two all right the number 100 and the number 42 number 42 add 142 you've made a simple little calculator one last thing i'm going to quickly throw in this video so it can be a third new skill 
Oh, maybe should have thrown it into another one. How many, what are we up to? We're up to 10 minutes. I'll just leave it for the next video how you can actually put that answer into a HTML file. You can stay tuned for that one. This is Mr. Borngarten signing out.